And then I'm looking in here and I'm like, oh man, look at these tide lines. Look at how far that water's come up here. Yeah. Yeah, so there's been... That makes me think we're halfway up the block at that sort of level. We're definitely over the starter motor, aren't we? Yeah, starter motor's been replaced. Now, this is the thing, I honestly, that's a, see this little ball camera thing I've got here? Yep. Yep. When I got my ball camera and stuck it up through that hole there, yeah, a little bit of a probing, uh, all I came out with was this slimy goop. I couldn't get my camera, mm -hmm. I couldn't actually see what's up there because I could just stick the camera up, pull it out, and got this slimy goop out from there. So up in there would be a head of the fuel tank. Fuel tank's right. plastic, which is good. I'm glad with plastic tank. If this boat with this much water, with this tide lining, if it had been an aluminium tank, I... Pfft, mm -hmm. That sort of water been sitting in there for a long time. And then at some point, it's like, hang on. And this is water sloshing around with oil on it. Sort of painting itself on here. Yeah. So in the lifespan of this boat, that there, you see that really nice crisp line here. So at some point, this boat has had a, that much water in it for an extended period of time. As the boat's moving around, the oily residue on top is then sloshing and being deposited on here. And that's where you get that sort of painted sort of slime effect. And then it's growing muck and crap. But it's telling me a story. It's telling me a very moist, wet story. Mm. Yeah, even though it's all dried out.